Hi everybody, behind me here I have all the things you're going to need to upgrade your Mac Mini to a 1TB drive or larger. The Mac Mini normally comes with a small drive like this which is a 2.5 SATA drive that is, comes in most netbooks or notebooks. And uh, this drive, you know, depending on the Mac Mini you have, they go from 80 gig to 320 gigs, which uh, if you run out of space, you're going to need obviously more room. Well, I'm going to show you how to upgrade it. This particular one, is, like I said, is a 2.5. This one is a 3.5 drive. It's a one terabyte drive. I will show you how to upgrade to this. And even though this doesn't fit inside the Mac Mini because it's too big, I will show you how to use an external enclosure to actually get this done. I'm going to walk you through in the next few minutes how to get do all this. It's kind of an easy step. It's not that complicated to do, and you can do it yourself. Just remember that if you do this, most likely you will avoid a warranty on your Mac Mini because you will have to make some changes. But um, you know, other than that, you will upgrade and get benefits to get a larger drive. Uh, before we do this, remember to watch my video on how to open the Mac Mini, which is the, the one to upgrade the drive. The links are in the description to my left if you're on the YouTube channel. If you're on my blog or my site, it's towards the bottom. So look at that video first before you can go ahead and uh, follow the steps that I'm going to show you because I will already have the machine open and ready to go so I can do this upgrade and make the video smaller and fit everything in there. Thank you for watching. Just remember to visit aramistech.com for all the links that you will need to get the, the stuff that I have here in the back like the cables and the uh, external enclosure that you're going to need. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Alrighty, so I've laid out everything I'm going to use here which is the enclosure, the hard drive enclosure the one terabyte drive, the Mac mini bottom part of it, which is where the motherboard and, and processor and memory is, and also the top part, which is where the hard drive is. The cable you're gonna use is a SATA cable, which uh, remember to go to aramistech.com where you'll have the, uh, all the instructions there, all the links to where you can purchase this cable. The cable's been shaved on both sides. You know, what it basically did is I grabbed a pair of pliers and I cut both ends here, okay, because when this, the way it looks, it has a similar style of this connection here, but it won't work because when you put this inside the Mac Mini, what, what happens is the plastic pieces on the side will not allow this to make a correct connection inside. Here's the little cable I shaved on the sides, and this little cable, it's the male side of it, is going to connect onto the inside of the case here. And uh, just make sure it's nice and snug in there. Once it's in there, I already took this out before because I had glued this. But uh, see, it's, it's loose. So you want to go ahead and grab this and either glue it on that end also or did, do what I did. I just basically put it nice and tight in there and then I glued the cable here. So that way the cable will not move from there. Once I glued it in place, it pushes the cable in. So I made it in a way where the cable is always pushing this side of cable into the connection. So it'll actually look like that. Let me glue this real quick and we'll go to the next step. Alrighty, so I glued the cable already. I let it dry a little bit, so it's good to go. Now that cable is nice and sturdy because it's constantly pushing inward the connection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it a little bit here in the corner. And if you look here, let me turn this around. There's a little cut here on the uh, Mac Mini on the top. And we're gonna take advantage of this little slot so that we can run the cable right through here. So I just wanna make sure that it's nice and folded. And it's good to go. And I can just put it right through this slot right here so I could do the rest of the stuff. So now we have our, our SATA cable connected, all we need to do is put it back on the Mac Mini and put it together and run that cable to the back of it. The cable here, once it's everything's ready, you can basically put your screws back in place. But I will tell you to wait until you get everything going. Uh, once you go here in the back, make sure you run this cable through the top here. And go ahead and you can slide it out through here. So now you see it fits just right in that hole so that when you close the unit, the cable won't be in place, you know, won't bother it or anything. It'll just be nice and neat in there. Uh, you can adjust this. It's very flexible to move around. Uh, you got to make sure you put the ribbon cable back here. So I'm going to go ahead and close everything up and uh, put the machine back, all the screws, so that we can go on to the next step. I'm going to go ahead now and close this thing up. Make sure the cable is nice and neat and it's not going to interfere when you close this up. Just close it up slowly so you get the back of it uh, nice and, and tight in there and that it doesn't have any problems uh, locking the cable. Make sure the cable's not going to get cut up inside the metal or anything like that when it closes. So I always just make sure I, I hold it good and uh, before I close it up. Once you're done, the cable will be nice and neat out here. 
Like I said, I made this cut a little bit bigger than I should. If it would have been a little smaller, it would have been nice and tight, the cable. But uh, since you really can't see this, this is going to be on the back of the unit. It's not going to be a problem. Now let's move to the next step, which is actually adding the one terabyte drive to the enclosure and actually connecting this cable, the other end to it, to, to the unit. All right, here I have the next star enclosure and uh, I want to open it up and show you how uh, what goes in here. The next star enclosure is an actually an IDE uh, connection to use on the drive. In this case, we want to actually use this for the SATA drive and uh, convert it for the Mac Mini. What I uh, like about this is this is the same size, the same form factor of the Mac Mini, so it'll look nice when you stack it together. In this case, what the first thing we are going to remove is this IDE cable. We're not going to use this cable, so you can take this out. And here we have one small problem. This cable right here will not work because it's not a SATA connection for the power. So what I ended up doing to fix that problem was I bought an actual cable that is an adapter that will extend out here and uh, you can get this at any computer store. There's no specific place. I mean you can search on the links. I'll see if I can put some links on it on the uh, on the website so you can actually get it there and uh, connect these two cables together. Once you do now you converted this into a SATA cable. Okay so we're ready to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to actually put the drive in here. In the back here I just want to show you that um, you have the USB ports, you have the power cable and the power button when you turn it on and off. When you turn it on the device will not work. You will think that it's actually off but the thing is that you have to actually connect the USB cable that comes with it that goes from here to one of the USB ports in the Mac Mini. And the reason why you have to do that is so that the actual um, this actual enclosure turns on and off when you turn off the computer so you never have to actually turn this off manually like you do with other cases that are external that you might find on the internet that you have to actually shut off manually. This actually since it has a cable connected to the USB uh, port on the back of the Mac Mini it will, uh, it will detect when you turn off the computer and it will shut off the hard drive. It will also detect when you turn on the computer and it will power on the drive. I had to cut a small part here of the plastic because of the drive and I will show you in a second how that is. On this side it was just like this one but I had to then cut it so that the uh, SATA cable would uh, show up here. This part right here, this metal piece is where the SATA the drive sits on there and on the bottom there's four screws you need to remove in order to remove this plate and mount the drive to it. All right, so we have the drive connected and everything's ready to go. So we can go ahead and uh, put this here, go turn it around and connect the power cable to it. So now we have the power and all we need now is to get the SATA cable that we need to connect from the Mac Mini. Here I have the Mac Mini already enclosed, already ready to go. So all we need to do is run this one cable from the Mac Mini to the actual uh, um, SATA connection on the drive itself. So now you have it connected. It does stay, it stays nice and snug because one trick I wanted to show you is that I cut the plastic just barely right under what this would be so that it holds it in place. So that it makes it nice and tight there. So all we need now is to close this up. So we basically have everything ready to go. All right, so here we go. I have then both of them connected. Like I said, there's only one cable running between both of them. So now you can go ahead and stack these two together and it's an easy process because once you do this you can turn it on its side and like I said see how nice it is it fits just perfect on both sides I wanted to show you guys uh, how everything came out after I finished uh, with the project uh, here what I have is an actual one terabyte drive for the time machine backups and um, basically a CD-ROM that I have on top here but look how nice this looks stacked up here now uh, you basically look at the uh, the way they are and it looks clean and it's just a nice installation. 